I was super excited to start growing my sea monkeys, but then I realized my house was way too cold to grow them in. So I took them to work as it's usually a little bit warmer there. After purifying the water for 24 hours, we added the instant live eggs and then we left them on the windowsill so hopefully they start growing within the next week. I was super excited to get to work today and check on the sea monkeys. We added the live eggs two days ago and when we checked today, they'd finally hatched. Stay tuned to see them grow in part three. Because I had to leave the sea monkeys in the office over the weekend, I decided to feed them a day early. However, when I came into work today, unfortunately, they'd all died. So I did have to throw them away, but don't worry, I ordered some new ones from Kmart, so as soon as those arrive, we'll set them up, and hopefully I don't kill them. Today when I arrived to work, I was super excited to see that my new sea monkeys had been delivered. I got new sachets, and I also got this new tank, because honestly, it's so cute. Okay, time to see if I can grow the sea monkeys properly this time. I'm using distilled water and I'm also keeping the tanks on my desk away from any direct sunlight. Today I added the water purifier, tomorrow we add the eggs and see if they hatch. Now that it's been 24 hours since I've added the water purifier, it's time to add the instant live sea monkey eggs. I'm super excited to come to work tomorrow and see if they're finally hatched. I rushed to work today because I was super excited to see if the sea monkeys had hatched overnight, but when I checked I couldn't see anything. So I went back to work and a few hours later I checked again and they'd hatched. Getting my wisdom teeth out soon, so I brought the sea monkeys home from the office. It's day five, which means it's their first feeding day, and they were pretty happy about it. I also got this lamp from the warehouse, which makes seeing them swim around so much easier. Hey, so I may have accidentally knocked them over the other day while I was working from home, but don't worry, it was only a little bit and they're still growing. Today was their second feeding day, and this is what their food looks like. It's basically like a green fish food powder that comes with the kit. They're not growing very well in the blue tank, but they're thriving in the magic castle, and I cannot believe how big they're getting. It's been five days since I fed the sea monkeys, but I haven't seen any of them for two days, so I'm not really sure what's going on. They're supposed to be fed today, but I'm a little bit hesitant to because there's still lots of stuff in their water. I've been aerating their tank every day and doing a lot of research onto where they could have gone, so if you have any advice about this, please let me know. After my last video, I was pretty convinced that they were all dead, but someone suggested wrapping them in a scarf, so I decided to do that, and I also decided to keep feeding them every five days. And surprisingly, it worked, because I started seeing a lot of life in the tanks, which made me so happy. But I haven't seen any of them in two days again, so I don't know, do they maybe take Wednesdays and Thursdays off? Let me know. Hey, I'm Chels, and these are my sea monkeys. Welcome to part 12. Last week, I didn't see any, but the next day, they magically came back to life, and they've been growing like crazy ever since. Look how cute they are. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any life in the blue tank for about two weeks, so it was time to omit defeat and dispose of those. I've ordered some more eggs, so we will give that tank another go. It was feeding day for the Magic Castle, so I gave them a tiny, tiny scoop, and then I wrapped them up to keep them nice and warm because it's freezing at the moment. Stay tuned for part 13. I can't believe this. Hi, I'm Chels, and I know it's been a while since my last sea monkey update. So I had two sea monkeys grow to full size, a male and a female, but unfortunately a couple of days ago the male sea monkey died, leaving his pregnant wife behind all alone. But in happier news, I did get a new tank. I finally got the sea monkeys and Mars kit, which I'm super stoked about. Look how cute the astronaut is. So I filled it up with distilled water and I added the water purifier. This tank looks ridiculously cute next to the magic castle. So we'll leave the water purifier in for 24 hours, and then once the time is up, we will add the eggs. Hi, I'm Chelsea and I'm back with another Sea Monkeys update. About four days ago, I added the live eggs to my brand new Sea Monkeys on Mars tank, and I also got a water thermometer because I've been super curious as to what temperature the water is. And I was quite surprised to know that it was sitting at about 23.5 Celsius, which is a pretty good temperature to be growing Sea Monkeys in. I've been noticing babies in my new tank, and I also think my pregnant Sea Monkey is giving birth because she's been acting kind of weird lately. Hmm. I also got this new tank that I'm going to DIY, so stay tuned for that.